Welcome class of 2025. I'm Jessica Pellegrino. I'm one of the White Spruce counselors. And I'm Teresa Brown, one of the Red Maple counselors. There are seven counselors at Middleton High School. For the White Spruce House, there's Gus Stefanis, Abby Helmenick, and Jessica Pellegrino. And the counselors in the Red Maple House are Teresa Brown, Carmen DeBilzen, Mike Cush, and Marcy Smith. The house structure at Middleton High School is here to support you. And we have lots of members. Each house includes four counselors, one social worker, one school psychologist, one special education coordinator, two deans, and a nurse that is shared by both houses. Our goal is to personalize the school and to be a support for you. All students are able to access course selection information on our webpage. You can click on Future Freshmen to see this video, review the course book, and find answers to any questions you may have. Middleton High School runs on an A-day and B-day schedule. On A-days, you will have blocks one, two, three, and four. And on B-days, you will have blocks five, six, seven, and ASR. The middle of each day is split up between your lunch period and your advisory. ASR at the end of B-Days is a period of time for you to check in with teachers, work on homework, make up any tests or quizzes, and each month is reserved for club meetings. A course offering book is available for all students on the high school registration webpage and future freshmen can also pick up a paper copy at the middle schools. When you're looking at the course descriptions, make sure you go beyond just reading the title. The title of the course does not tell you everything you need to know about that course. Look for prerequisites. Prerequisites could be a class that you need to take, a grade level you need to be in, or there could be a minimum age you need to be to take that class and sometimes a combination of those. Year-long classes at the high school are worth one credit and have two course numbers. Semester classes at the high school are worth half a credit and have only one course number. All freshmen are required to take and will be automatically enrolled in the following courses. One credit of science, which will be biology. One credit of English, which will be English 9, one credit of social studies, which will be land, people, and power, an ethnic studies approach to U.S. history, and a half credit of PE, which is Foundations of Movement. All freshmen are given the opportunity to take honor courses. Freshmen will sign up for the regular course, and the teacher will explain the opportunities and requirements to earn the honors course distinction on their transcript within the first six weeks of the semester. Students have the choice to take the earned honors option each semester. The following courses have earned honors op offered for freshmen. Number one, English 9. Number two, Biology. Number three, Land, People and Power, an Ethnic Studies Approach to U.S. History. When choosing your math for freshman year, you can look at what are you taking now? Are you in CC3? That means you're taking algebra as a freshman. If you're in algebra one, geometry or high gap A. If you're in algebra and want to double up math and not take high gap, you can take geometry and algebra two simultaneous. It is important to know that those are two full courses in your schedule. So you'll need to consider that with your elective courses. If you're in high gap A, high gap B, or algebra two, students should speak with their current eighth grade math teacher to help determine what is the appropriate class for next year. It is important to talk about the class of high gap. High gap is an acronym for Honors Integrated Geometry Algebra two Precalculus. This course is a two year sequence that consolidates three years of math into two years. So how do you determine if this is the class for you? Are you strong in math that the content comes easy and you don't require a lot of review? Do you have time 
to balance multiple hours of homework required of this class in addition to your other classes. Follow through is important. This is a course that moves very quickly and requires students to complete the work, master the material, and apply it to the next class period. Students should be recommended by their math teacher for the accelerated content and pace of this class. Middleton High School requires all students to earn a minimum of 23.75 credits at the end of their four years of high school. This consists of four years of English, three years of social studies, three years of math, three years of science, one and a half credits of physical education that must be taken over the span of three years, a half credit of health, and a half credit of financial literacy that can be taken in grades 10 through 12. Additionally, our elective graduation requirements consist of an option A and an option B. Students completing the option A graduation requirement will take a minimum of 1.0 credit of career and technical education and 1.0 credit of fine arts. Option B requires a level three or higher completion of world language, a half credit of career and technical education, and a half credit of fine arts. No matter which option you complete during high school, many students will have more than the minimum credits in each of those areas. Fine arts includes art, music, and theater courses, and career and tech ed includes business marketing, information technology, family and consumer science, health science occupations, engineering, and technology coursework. Advisory and ASR are required for all freshmen and are supports for you to find success in school. Advisory meets daily with a small class size and link crew leaders to help freshmen acclimate to the high school. You will be in the same advisory group for all four years and students earn 0.25 credit per year for advisory. ASR is a 90 minute block at the end of every B-Day. The block is split into two sections, giving students the opportunity to work in two different subject areas and attendance is required. So if you ask, our current MHS students, what would they tell you coming into Middleton High School? They would tell you to get involved, try new sports, clubs, theaters, activities. It's a great way to meet people and also just a great way to try new things. They'd say get to know your teachers, they're here for you. And to get help if you need it, to not wait. Use that ASR to get work done. See your teachers and get ahead. Do your homework. Watch out for that eighth grade slide. This is the year to step up and not slow down. High school asks more of you than middle school. More freedom is coming your way, but so are more consequences. With privileges means more responsibility. And one of those is lunch off campus. Students are able to have backpacks. They're allowed and encouraged. Some students recommend an A-Day backpack and a B-Day backpack just to stay organized and remember the materials you need for that day. Freshman year counts. The classes you take and the grades you earn are the foundation of your transcript for future college admission and post-secondary plans. It's a lot to take in, so how do we support you? Freshman seminars are one of those opportunities. MHS understands that freshman year is a big transition year and we're here to help you through it. Counselors will invite you to attend freshman seminars during first semester of your freshman year to help you plan out your courses throughout high school. It's also an opportunity to get to know you, to see where your interests are, where your talents, your strengths, and how do we build that into your schedule. So what are your next steps? You can review this video as often as you like. The link for all registration materials can also be found on the MHS course registration webpage. Follow the two-step process for completing the course request survey and for submitting your classes to my campus on time. Students who do not submit their course requests will have courses selected for them. 
we don't want to do that. So please make sure you request the courses that you want to take. Freshman course links are to be completed by Friday, January 22nd at 3 o'clock. Schedule changes are not possible once the window has closed in my campus. You may be able to request a schedule change in August prior to the start of the school year, but at that time, changes will be based on space available and may not be possible. So please take the course selection process seriously. So welcome class of 2025. We look forward to seeing you in the fall.